A federal eviction moratorium will expire in just hours. House leaders failed to pass an extension today. When it comes, though, to the technicalities of legislation, we just need a more time. The moratorium has helped renters throughout the country remain in their homes despite the challenges of the pandemic. The return of evictions could have significant impacts for thousands of families in our community. Adam Duxter explains what's being done to help bridge the gap and if it will be enough. Throughout the course of the pandemic, the Tenant Resource Center has worked to connect thousands of families in Dane County with millions of dollars in rental relief. But as the end of the moratorium looms, there's a fear that demand could surge once again and community leaders want to be prepared. Since the beginning, we took on about 4,000 applications within that first week or so. Robin Serino and the team at the Tenant Resource Center have had their hands full. Probably the last five weeks or so, we've uh, kind of caught up with things. They're processing over a million dollars in requests each week, but are now seeing the demand rise. And while it's normal to see an uptick this time of year. August is always the worst month for the city in general for filings. We see about 300 cases in a regular August. The expiring moratorium on evictions makes this year anything but normal. We're anticipating, you know, a massive amount of filings, which are already seeing an increase in the court calendar. To date, Madison has handed out $11 million in relief. And this next week, the city says it's prepared to ask for $15 million more in anticipation for what's to come. I think the folks that that work in this arena are are bracing for a, a surge of eviction notices. Again, we're we're asking landlords um, and and tenants to work together to try to um, to avoid that. Serino says they've identified more than 5,000 households in our community that are at risk. And while it won't be easy, says they're prepared to help as many as they can. If you get a notice, please don't leave. You know, give us a call, check out your rights, and, and apply. And let's get that, you know, bill paid down. In Madison, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. Dane County is still accepting applications for rental assistance. To qualify, you'll need to fall into the 80th percentile of income, which is 62000 or less for a two-person household or 78500 for a four-person household.